Hello there. We will cover the swap automation functionality in Appstool subscriptions in this video, which you can find under the automation section of your dashboard. If you offer products with different variants, one thing you could do to retain customer engagement is to let them try out said variants in regular intervals, that is, whenever their subscription renews. This functionality can be illustrated by a simple example of an ice cream subscription. The merchant selling ice cream has multiple variants, aka multiple flavors, on offer. To encourage customers to try out multiple different flavors on offer, the merchant comes up with a swap order that may look something like this. First flavor offered is vanilla, then chocolate, then strawberry, then a combination Neapolitan, and the cycle repeats. Setting up this product swap cycle in Appstool subscriptions would look like this. For the first cycle, Name it, then select the source variant to be vanilla ice cream and the destination variant to be chocolate ice cream. There are also two toggles you can use if you'd like. The first is letting the automation apply for all orders. Toggling this on means that as long as the subscription is active, whenever our system detects a subscription order having the source variant, the next time the subscription renews, the product will be updated to the destination variant. Toggling it off means that the same behavior will only apply for the specific billing cycle you choose, configurable in this drop-down menu here. If you set discounts when you set up plans in Appstool subscriptions, you can toggle this on if you want those discounts to carry through to the swap automation, or leave it off if you don't. Hit save when you are done. Repeat this process until all of the variants have been set as product swap automations. In the cycle written out here, after Neapolitan, it resets back to vanilla, so the last swap cycle should be Neapolitan to vanilla. A common source of confusion among merchants with swap automations is trying to do all of the swap cycle steps in a single swap automation. This will not work, as this means that all of the source products selected will be replaced with the destination products if and only if all the source products are present within a customer subscription. So please make sure to create individual swap cycles like these to make sure it works properly. If you have not already, now would be a good time to also make a subscription plan in Manage Plans that encompasses all of the different variants in your swap automation. As we have other videos dedicated to configuring subscription plans, we will not be deep diving into that here. But there is a key thing to mention, and that is whether you want all subscribers to have the same starting point in your swap automation, in this example everyone starting at vanilla ice cream, or if you want to allow the freedom to start anywhere in the cycle they wish. If the former is what you are needing, only select vanilla ice cream as the product in the subscription plan. If the latter, select all of the variants of ice cream on offer. Now that the subscription plan and product swap automations are set, Go to your storefront and go to a product page of the variant or variants in question and do a test purchase. Once the order has been processed, your customers can view the subscription products that will be swapped out every billing cycle in the Schedules tab of the Customer Portal. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you, and have a nice day.